The power of the Earth's natural energy can be awe-inspiring. From the earliest times, man has attempted to harness and use it to improve the quality of our lives. As technologies advance, we are now able to add larger and larger amounts of power from sustainable sources to the traditional fuel burning methods which still predominate on our national grid. Airgrid is responsible for managing Ireland's electricity transmission system. This is the nerve centre, the cockpit of the electricity industry. So from here, we manage supply and demand on a minute by minute, hour by hour basis. So as people turn on kettles in their houses, turn on TVs, the people here are making sure that the generation is available to meet that need. And the key thing that they're doing is they're making sure that that happens all day, every day. So that's about planning forward so that no matter what happens, lightning strikes, equipment failure, whatever, the lights still go on. Wind is Ireland's greatest renewable source of energy and with 179 wind farms now in operation here, we have certainly engaged with the capturing part. What are the challenges of wind generation? The moment on the system, uh, we will only allow up to 50% of the demand come from wind resources and that's to ensure the stability of the system. Sometimes it's a really, really windy day and we have too much wind on the system, more in fact than we can accommodate and at times like that we have to scale it back so a signal goes from the control centre here out to individual wind turbines to effectively feather their blades and scale back their output and that's wind loss to the system. If we don't have the ability to, to sort of store it and park it and use it later, uh, later in the day, for example. There are a lot of challenges to overcome before we can realise the full potential of wind energy, but a unique technology developed right here in Ireland may provide one of the solutions. It is probably the single biggest challenge with renewables, I mean, to, to give flexibility to the electricity system. We set out to develop a technology that could store wind energy. The product allows the user to program their heating requirement with time and temperatures, when they want it and only when they want it. From the electricity industry's perspective, they can deliver the energy when it suits the electricity system. So if there's a wind front, if there's a lot of wind energy on the system, they can switch on this load and use that energy, whereas otherwise much of that wind energy is, is wasted. How does it work? How does it communicate with the grid? Each of the appliances has a small device called a transceiver, a radio transceiver, and that communicates back to a hub. Each of the hubs has a SIM card, exactly the same SIM card as you have in your mobile phone. And that SIM card sends data up to, to, to a web server. On the one hand, it tells the web server how much energy is required, and the system operator can then decide when to deliver the energy that's required. The, 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 the challenge here has been you know, giving the user a very simple, easy to use interface and giving them the, the, the control when they want it and yet being able to give the electricity industry the control over when the charge is taken. So there's a lot of technology and intellectual property in terms of how we've achieved that. To properly test this new technology, the engineers worked closely with Greenway, a green technology collaboration between academia, government and industry. So you're helping inventors fast track their ideas and get them out to the real world sooner? Absolutely. What we're doing is providing what we term a living laboratory, as you can see before. So we have actual real live houses, people utilising technology, not in with white coats, but in their actual day to day lives. Sustainability is what it's all about. Ultimately, we're not trying to invent new energy. We're actually trying to do what the world is trying to do, is get more efficiency out of the resources that we use. A hundred years ago, there were a billion people on the earth. By 2050, there will be 9 billion people. We have to adopt new approaches. We have to find ways of using new technologies. Shalidu has first-hand experience of the quantum system as it's now installed and up and running in her home. I'm here about four years. Before, we had the old storage heaters. They weren't the very greatest now, I have to say, at heating up. In October, I used to take myself and my eldest daughter up to my mum's and come back in January whereas Lexi arrived in September and we got to spend our first Christmas here, nice and warm. And how has it affected your bills? Um, well, my bills are half and even down to my standard of living is much better. So it's win-win. Yeah, I can't lose, I have to say. And they're really, really easy to use. You literally flip them on, set them to the time, they store at night and then out it comes during the day. So what does it mean to you to be part of kind of a big experiment, all this information that's coming out of your heating system has been fed into a bigger picture? To be honest, it's quite exciting. I've never done anything like it before. I think when they explained it to me first, I was like, 
yeah, okay, no problem. But when he actually showed me, like they bring in the laptop and they show you where your data's going to and how much it's going to help them and how much it's going to help other people, it is quite exciting. Science yeah. in action. Exactly. Rather than just see it on the telly and go, mm, yeah, I'm actually in it now and doing it and I'm enjoying it. The Quantum Project is a great demonstration of how we can get demand side response into the system so where we can move the use of power to different parts of the day or the time in response to system conditions, giving terrific benefit to the system here as a whole and to, to users. This is an Irish technology that is world leading. There's nothing else as advanced as this in, in, in the world. And as a consequence, the interest we've had from the electricity industry in Ireland and indeed in the UK and much further afield has been, has been staggering. So it's a very exciting time for us.